In this video, we'll be evaluating hyperbolic trig functions. Now, the definitions of our hyperbolic functions, the hyperbolic sine x is equal to e to the x minus e to the negative x, all divided by 2. The hyperbolic cosine x is equal to e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by 2. And the hyperbolic tangent x is equal to the hyperbolic sine of x divided by the hyperbolic cosine of x. The hyperbolic cosecant x is the reciprocal of the hyperbolic sine of x. The hyperbolic secant of x is the reciprocal of the hyperbolic cosine of x. And then the hyperbolic cotangent of x is the reciprocal of the hyperbolic tangent of x. So we'll use these definitions to evaluate. First, let's evaluate the hyperbolic sine of 0. So by definition, the hyperbolic sine is e to the x. And we're putting 0 in for x. So e to the 0 subtract e to the negative 0 divided by 2. Now we know e to the 0 is 1, so this is 1 subtract, and this is also equal to 1, so divided by 2, then the hyperbolic sine of 0 is 0. Let's evaluate the hyperbolic cosine of 0. By definition, the hyperbolic cosine is e to the x, so that'll be e to the 0, plus e to the negative x, so e to the negative 0, divided by 2. So this, then, is 1 plus 1, divided by 2. And 1 plus 1 is 2, so we have the hyperbolic cosine of 0 is 1. And then finally, let's do the hyperbolic tangent of 1. By definition, that's the hyperbolic sine of x divided by the hyperbolic cosine of x. So this is the hyperbolic sine of 1 is e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by 2. So let's plug that in. That's e to the 1, since x is 1, minus e to the negative 1 divided by 2. And then the denominator is the hyperbolic cosine of 1. So e to the 1 plus e to the negative 1 divided by 2. And we can multiply top and bottom here by 2 to simplify this complex fraction. So this is e minus 1 over e. I'm just writing this as 1 over e here. Divided by e plus 1 over e. Then this complex fraction we can simplify by multiplying top and bottom by e. So we have e squared minus 1 over e squared plus 1. 